Akwa my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, so my name is She. For the last few weeks, I've been traveling around Southeast Asia on a little vacation and spent time with my boyfriend's family. So of course, traveling for three weeks meant getting a protective style because who's got space in their luggage to fit all the products that you need for your natural hair on holiday, okay? These are goddess or pick and drop braids and I had a couple of styles on rotation so I thought I would share that with you guys today. I know of course you guys are waiting on the vlogs, you've been asking for the vlogs. I filmed the entire time when I was in Bali but in Malaysia I didn't film as much, you know, I was just trying to be present with my boyfriend's family so I thought I would give you the little sneak peeks of my favourite parts or the bits that I actually did vlog when I was in Malaysia in this video here so style one and on to the secret vlog. Style number two, we're going in with a little bit of a half up, half down situation. There are so many variations of the half up, half down, especially with goddess braids, where you can just pull out the little pieces and add a bit more interest, pizzazz the style a little bit. Um, or you can put it all back if you want a more slick, clean look. I like to go in with a bit of mousse on the piece that I've pulled out. Um, this one wasn't that great, but it's not really good, so I still would recommend. <laughs> anyway, this is the final look. It's giving youthful, it's giving fun, and it's giving super cute. I mentioned in one of my previous videos that one of my favorite hair accessories are hair scrunchies of different sizes. They just come in so much handy and create way less tension on your natural hair and for your protective styles too. This white one is from Brad. They sent it to me in PR, but I love it. Honestly, my hair is so thick, but I can literally go round with this scrunchie three times. It's insane. And for some reason, I don't think I was gonna like this style as much as I did. So I was really feeling myself. I was feeling the look, it was, it was a vibe. Style four, we're gonna do another variation of the half up, half down. So this time you wanna start with a lower pony and tie it up so it's kind of in the middle of your head. Use the excess hair to push through the pony and it should look a little like this. I love the style, it's super easy. Um, all of these styles take less than five minutes. You know how I roll, we keep it simple, basic, clean. Smart around here, okay? So this is the final look. You can pull out a few pieces, jot it up, make it a bit more messy, um, but yeah. One thing that I do want you to know, if you get this hairstyle, is that it does get quite tangled. It doesn't matter if you use human or synthetic hair. It's kind of like a daily, maintenance thing that you need to do in order to stop it from becoming a massive dreadlock so yeah that being said that's another reason why i would suggest getting these satin and silk scrunchies especially if you want to style the, this hair like it is gonna frizz so just to help make the style last as long as possible definitely use silk and satin scrunchies and also just in general with this style just be quite gentle with the hair at this stage i like to add a little bit of mousse just to tame the ends and make the curls make sense and if you haven't got mousse just use water and conditioner it does pretty much the same thing i have these little butterfly and flower clips in my wardrobe that i definitely forgot to bring with me it's giving y2k like childhood vibes i feel like those clips would look so cute with this hairstyle. So if you have them, defo use them. And this is the style I probably wore the most whilst I was on holiday, but let me just show you in the next few clips. Is he searching my butt? Is he searching my butt? Oh! Is that short? I have to but I don't know if it's good.
let's move on to style number six. What have we got here? Another variation of the half up, half down. I actually saw this style on TikTok by this girl that makes the most gorgeous hair tutorials. I will leave her name on the screen. And I was like, that is such a smart way of using the claw clip that I've not seen before. So um, you kind of just pull the hair through and clip it where the band is. It's that simple. But then look how cute it comes out. One thing about Southeast Asia, it doesn't matter how much mousse you add to your hair, it's still gonna be puffy. But at the same time, my skin absolutely loves this type of climate. So you win some, you lose some, you know, you, you, you pick your battles and we'll take, we'll take the glowy skin instead, you know? Of course we had to go with just like your classic claw clip style where you just get all of the hair in a low pony and pull it up. I've even started making it a thing to just have like a claw clip on hand at all times because for those days where it's too hot, it's just too hot to exist. You don't want your hair touching your body. You don't want your hair touching your sweaty bag, okay? So I just attach one of these to my handbag. You call it a bag accessory, I don't know. Um, but it just helps in those situations. And um, I think you can never have too many claw clips as well. There's just so many varieties out there. Um, so invest in some. <laughs> Final style, and I thought I would pay homage to the new Barbie film release because everybody's going through that pink face right now, right? So we're just gonna pull the hair back and add a little cute headband, okay? It's real sweet, real simple. I use the um, elastic band first just to keep my braids in place, especially if you're going out for a long day, like you just wanna make sure that your braids are doing what they need to do, right? Then I'm gonna go in with the headband and I found this to be the best combo. These headbands you can get really cheap from Amazon as well. I think this was like £2.50. I'll link it down below. We just love a good hair accessory over here, okay? 